the balance sheet and the client assets form or the SEC MMRF01 is intended to capture information on the assets, liabilities and the client assets managed by the reporting entity. It is important to note that the manager of a collective investment scheme or CIS is required to complete this form for each CIS that it manages. Also, where a CIS issues different classes of units or shares, a separate SEC MMRF01 must be completed for each class or share. The balance sheet section of this form, in general, is synonymous with the traditional balance sheet of a company, with the exception of a few line items which we will highlight. The trade data section contains a line item called foreign banks. This line item has been included to capture the total amount that is held with foreign banks licensed by a banking regulator within an approved foreign jurisdiction. It does not include cash and cash equivalents that are held with these banking institutions. The list of approved or designated foreign jurisdictions can be found on the Commission's website. Cash and cash equivalents within the asset section contains two line items, held within TNT and held outside of TNT, both of which must be converted to TT dollars. Held within TNT must include the total amount of liquid assets, that is, cash and cash equivalents of the reporting entity that is held with domestic banking institutions, non-banking financial institutions, and corporate clients. Held outside TNT must include the total amount of liquid assets of the reporting entity that is held with foreign banking and non-banking financial institutions. Securities at market value include the following. TT government and government equivalent securities, statutory bodies and state-owned non-financial securities, TT government eurobonds, TT equity and TT CISs. A full list of securities is contained in the accompanying instruction sheet. This section contains two line items, securities not assigned to repos and securities assigned to repos. The securities not assigned to repos is intended to capture the total value of all securities held by the reporting entity that are not the subject of a pledge in a repurchase agreement. On the other hand, the securities assigned to repos line item is intended to capture the total value of all securities held by the reporting entity that are used as an underlying pledge for a repurchase agreement. A repo liability section has been included to capture the total value of all repo obligations of the reporting entity broken down into the various categories of investors such as TT banks, TT credit unions, insurance companies, pension plans, retail clients, and other corporate clients. An amount due to unit holders line item has been included to capture the total value of units held within a CIS which has been constituted via a trust. This line item must be completed by all CISs. Where a CIS is constituted in a corporate form, the total value of all its shares must be included in the ordinary shares line item. The client asset managed section for the purposes of this form is defined as the portfolio of securities managed by the reporting entity on behalf of its clients. The reporting entity in this case would also be providing ongoing investment advice and management services to the client for a fee. The values contained in this section should exclude the proprietary holdings of the reporting entity. All line items labeled other must be supported 
by a breakdown within the notes section.